bitches. We got them. No, we don't. <laughs> God damn, why do I do this? <laughs> You're the one who wanted to do the intro. I know, I fucked up. I always fuck up. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the First 117. We have a very morbid, I mean great peaceful episode for you today. I went to the flea market. I found something that I should not be allowed to have. But you do. It's right here. It's a little guillotine. And you know what we're going to do with this? We're going to chop some stuff up. But we're also going to learn a little bit because, you know, it's a video. we got to pretend to educate you animals. Yes, we're always about education here. No, we're not. Well, I mean, not the education that you need it. You know, to get through school. Just the education to rot your brain. Shout out. <laughs> Put your finger in there. No, I don't feel like it. Yeah. Okay. By the way, this is what, uh, this is Ray Bear's profession. Ooh, we don't talk about his real name. Oh, come on. We call him R. Bear so he doesn't go to prison. Oh, right. He owes a lot of money to those families. <laughs> but this is his profession. He is a professional. Yeah, just put education. your hand right there. No, no. No, it's okay. So you got any fun facts for us? Something sure. before I cut my finger off for this so, video? For the guillotine. It fits right here. Oh, that's bad. I don't even want to do that. So the guillotine, it dates back to the Middle Ages. And it comes all the way from the 1790s and the French Revolution. Ready? I'm going to chop my finger off. Bad idea. Okay. Now, at first, the device... Give me your finger. No. At first, the device was just called the plank. Why, why would it be called the plank? There's nothing the plank about it. With the E at the end. The reason why, I guess, because... Plank K? I guess. But the reason why is because maybe because the human being that would right be put onto this little wooden part at the back would have to plank onto it and be pushed forward so that way their head can go into the little hole there before they would get it cut off. So, in the Middle Ages, it was used in Germany and Flanders. Der and Flanders? Uh, like, from The Simpsons? Uh, sort of. And, at the end of the day, it would wind up claiming 120 people. That's it? During the Renaissance era. Oh, okay. Yeah, it, it, this was before it got its real prominent use. Now, it was also originally developed as a more humane... Let me, let me rephrase that, just to reiterate it. It was developed as a more humane way to execute people. The reason why was the belief was, was that... Matt, point this... the camera for me. With your finger sticking out. No. I'll let, I'll let the stylist get it. Anyway. No fun. The point is, is that this thing at the end of the day was believed to be more humane because the blade would come down so fast that the force of it and the cut of it would be instant death you wouldn't feel it so it would be considered humane because it would be painless but it would not be bloodless that is for sure now another thing is that guillotining and guillotine executions why are you going to destroy... I just want to chop stuff, man. <laughs> you're, de you're destroying his device. He uses that to make a living, for God's sakes. But anyway, the guillotine was also very big spectator events. So people would come to watch people get executed. People were very bored back in the day if you wanted to watch people get executed. <laughs> to say the least. And let's see... Oh, here's one that you may shock you. No, no, don't cut his arm off. He needs that for executions. <laughs> I can't do it, don't. No. He's our buddy. We can't do that. It was a popular children's toy. I can see why. This is very fun. Yes. Apparently, uh, during the 1790s, it would be two feet tall. And it would have a replica blade and timbers. It was a popular toy in France. And kids used the fully operational guillotine to decapitate dolls or even small rodents. I'm going to build one at work. <laughs> Eventually, though, towns did ban them for fear that they were uh, a vicious influence. Going to do what I'm going to do? <laughs> no, no, don't do that to him. Do it to something else. Do it to, like, Bret Hart or something. Where's his leg? Yeah, I don't I know. I think I threw it out. Oh, 
Well, that's... I, it smelled like fire too much. Well, because you set it on fire. Yeah, that's your fault. Uh, well, I got it for you to do whatever, and you did whatever. Okay, so next. Guillotine operators were also national celebrities, like our buddy right here. Our bear. Yes, our bear. Yes, the celebrities of them just executing people. Their slogan was... <laughs> the tattoo of some of these uh, gentlemen who were executioners is... My head goes to Dible. Can we chop stuff up? There's a couple more facts here. And you're a highly trained professional having that go off just right in the hey, middle of the video. It's going off on three devices. I silenced it for you. Thank you. Number six, scientists conducted gruesome studies on the heads of the victims after that they after they were executed. Also, it was used for executions in Nazi Germany. Why are you looking at me? And the final part, it was last used in the 1970s. So those are eight facts about the guillotine. And, yeah, you have the nice little replica, probably of what would have been used as a children's toy back in the day. Matt, let's chop some shit up. Sure. Okay. We have some candidates here. We have this pepper, and we have this stick of cheese. Because we're going to cut the cheese. Yes. So the cheese, Just like we're going to cut this video. The cheese has been found guilty. <laughs> okay, let's set up better. Is that kid cool? What happened? He looks nothing like the <laughs> very similar. For the record, the Japanese version of kid cool came first. Even though these other games...